all of that is really irrelevant to me. It doesn't matter when I get signed. It's all about, okay, let's put our head down. Let's get to work. Yo, 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 what's going on, Team Twitty? I hope you're all super well. Another rest day, baby. You know what it is. Go on, roast me. Do it. Sheldon, too many rest days. Nah, honestly, I need it after yesterday. And one thing I really want to say, especially at the start of the video, in a trial period where you're trialing for a team, I was thinking about this this morning, and I might have said it in a video the other day, but when you're trialing for a team, all of your preparation in terms of gym work, training on the field, fitness, that should have all been done before the trial. You don't want to be doing that amongst it. I mean, you can do little bits here and there just to keep your touch. Someone said it in a comment, I think yesterday, saying, look, your touch, your dribbling, all that sort of stuff, it's muscle memory. You're not going to lose that over a couple of days. And so the most important thing over the trial period is to make sure that you're ready to go. And that's what I'm doing, man. I'm fine taking, well, I took a rest day on Friday. Did I do anything? I don't think, I, oh, I did that light sprint training session. Actually, there was a bit of running in that. But yeah, got a rest day today. I'm just taking it easy on the days off that I have. Because this is an important time, man. Super important to make sure that I get into a team. If I don't get into a team, then the chances of becoming a pro almost become zero because if you're not playing, you can't show anything. So my next trial is on Tuesday, which means I have today, which is Sunday. Tomorrow is Monday. I may get a sprint session in then. If not, I'll go down to the park and get a session in. But it's my rest day. My legs are feeling a little bit sore, so there's a couple of things I wanna do. First off, I'm going to go down to the park with Finno. Just down in Manly, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's near the beach, I guess. Nolan's, you guys have seen it before on the vlogs. I'll go down, I'll go down there, chat with Finno, and we'll play some football tennis, do a little bit of passing, super, super light, just to get the legs going. And I think my plan is to go from there, go into Manly, get some dinner, a burrito, of course, and then from there, go to the pool and get a recovery session in at the pool and kind of just flow that. Like, it's late in the day, I haven't been doing anything, I've just been resting, losing FIFA. Oh man, I'm honestly getting over FIFA, it's killing me. All right, so heading off to the pool, I got my protein shake, I got my swimmers, I got my towel. Now, just before I go, again, this video is sponsored by OneFootball, the greatest app to keep up to date with all of the football news, transfers, everything about football. I absolutely love this app. If you guys wanna download it, make sure you go down below, click the link in the description, stop going to Google, use this app. Trust me, you will not regret it. Let's get down to the park, chat with Finna. I'm keen to get this session in. My legs, they're feeling a little bit heavy. So going down to the park, it will allow me to just loosen up a little bit, a little bit of stretching and a little bit of kicking the ball, etc. Let's go chat with Finno. We got the man, Finno. We're setting up a bit of football tennis, as you guys can see over there. You're feeling a little bit sore as well. Oh, a little bit. Where yeah. we all are, we're in pre-season. Yeah. It's a bit tough out here. Yeah, it's tough. So, nah, it's all right. yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> Finn's at the same club as Pat up at Manly. How are you liking that? What are your thoughts? I'm loving it. Uh, high intensity, quality sessions. Yeah. Yeah, Brilliant. No, everything about it's good. Brilliant. So, good. so look, in the season we said yesterday, I could come up against Pat and hand him an L. Now, I might come up against this guy, hand him an L. So we'll see how it goes. I'm not exactly sure where I'll be playing this year. We'll see. What are these birds? Are you hearing that? It's like a broken camera. So we're gonna get into this session. I'm looking forward to it. Just a light one, just get the yeah, legs really. going. Yeah. You know, I. you said to me, if it was gonna be tough, no way. And I'm yeah. the same. I gotta be ready for these upcoming trials. Session. We just wanna get this light session in working on the touch, just kind of yeah. keep it turning over. So let's get into it, football tennis.
Session done. What do you think of that, mate? I took yeah, it out good. in the football tennis, oh. but we changed up the rules okay. a bit. A yeah. bit. Yeah, that no, was good. I, I like when we took it a bit lower. Yeah. The men that touches more. were like, or well, we actually, I don't know, gave a bit of power behind our shots, tested yeah. each other's touches. Way more like, challenging. Yeah. And then we went into that passing as well. Yeah. Very, very light. I'm yeah. sweating a little bit. You are oh, too. Yeah. But you know, we wanted. There was no running. Yeah. It was just you know keeping the touch going. So yeah. good, I got that in. I'm gonna go for a feed, and you're going to the gym, and then maybe coming to the pool with me. Maybe. maybe. We'll see. So I'm off to get a feed. Enjoy your gym session, mate. Hey. Alright, I've been putting this off a little bit. I've been sitting in the car for about 15 minutes. Not because it's cold. Not because I need that. I'm just so tired. I want to go to bed, I need rest, I need sleep. I'm still feeling it after that beach session. And I'm about to walk on the sand there. It's just gonna bring back bad memories, man. The running that we did, that was tough. My quads and my calves are still feeling it. Oh, the sand doesn't feel good. Bad memories, man, bad memories. There she is, looking nice and green as usual. It's gonna be a little bit cold, it's a bit windy, but what a scene, what a night. so nice in here. I love it. I love it. It was a little bit cold to begin with. Now I'm alright. I'm feeling good. We've done it, we've come out here, got done what we wanted to do, that pool session. I feel good, I feel better. I scraped my back, I don't know. If, can you see like blood or anything? I don't know, it really hurts when I jumped, I like landed and then fell on my back, if that makes sense. I don't know, it kind of hurts, but overall my legs, look, they still feel tired. You can't expect to do this sort of recovery. You can't expect to do any sort of recovery and then expect to feel 100% afterwards. It might only help five. 10%. So yeah, good to get out there, good for the muscles. In some way, it's beneficial, so I'm stoked to get out there. Now let's head home. Dad's behind the camera. We got Betadine here. Uh, oh, okay. I got it. Betadine because I have actually pretty badly, well not badly, it's not that bad, is it dad? Bad enough. Yeah, bad enough. I need to look after my body. So yeah, Dad's gonna put better in on that. Papa Tweety, the man coming through, looking after me. Dr. Tweety, do you? Mate, we had times back in the day where I would scrape myself on the AstroTurf, yeah. and there's this thing called peroxide. Oh my good, peroxide is the it's worst thing. No, peroxide is so bad, and so many times Papa Tweety would come through. It's good for you. Patch me up with that, disinfectant. Man up. I almost died from the peroxide. I don't think it helped me. All right, so now that Dad's cleaned me up, the big news that I've received very recently is I have another trial confirmed with another MPL one club. It's amazing. When you really start to reach out to people and really speak to people, send emails to clubs, how things can come about. I've been working so damn hard on the field, you guys have seen, and I've been working just as hard off the field to try and secure opportunities as well. It's absolutely great news for me. I'm so stoked with it. To be honest, I'm just excited for what the future holds now. I just put my head down, keep doing what I was doing because this is what got me to where I am now. Doesn't mean I work any less, we just keep going. So I'm stoked with that. Thought I'd fill you guys in, let you know. Massive, massive news, massive progression in my sh short term career, I guess. Right, time for me to head off to bed. <laughs> Not an exhausting day at all. I'm just still feeling it from that beach session that I did on Saturday and then followed up by the gym. Just putting in that grind because I knew I had a couple of days to recover before the next trial. So going into next week, Tomorrow is Monday, I have the trial with this team. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Could just be Tuesday, it could just be Tuesday, Thursday. We don't know yet. Now what I saw some people say is, Sheldon, surely this team will wanna see you in a pre-season friendly before they think about signing you. Yes, definitely, some teams 
that's a standard for them. They have to see you play in an 11v11 before they even think about signing you. Whether that's an 11v11 against the reserve team or an 11v11 against some random team, yes, I agree, some teams do want that. But in other cases, I've seen teams who sign players just from the training sessions. But with this club, who knows? I, you could get signed whenever. You don't know the coach, you don't know the club. But all of that is really irrelevant to me. It doesn't matter when I get signed. It's all about, okay, let's put our head down. Let's get to work. There's no point in even thinking, okay, this might be the session I get signed. This might be it. Or on the other hand, thinking, okay, I'm not going to get signed until... We play an 11v11. See how with that mindset you might put your training down a little bit throughout the other sessions? Man, I just go to every single session and turn up. Train hard, show them who I am, play my game. But on top of that, learn. Learn from the coach, learn from these other players and really take as much as I can in in every single session. So yes, I do agree with you guys a little bit. Some clubs may want to see you in a full 11v11, some might not. But with that said, I need to go to bed. I'm tired. What time is it? It's not even late. Yeah, 10.30, perfect. Good time for me to get to bed. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'll get some sort of session in. I might keep it a little bit intense. I'm not sure. I have to have a think about it and listen to my body because after that beach session, you're working muscles that you've never worked before, and it's gonna take a couple days to recover. So we'll see, we'll see. But Team Tweety, I'm signing out. Make sure you leave a like on the show, subscribe, and enjoy the journey out soon. Let's be a bad listen.